You're right. Yeah. See, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20. Problem problem. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm now going to do cosine. And if you remember, we can't figure out the values for cosine of 13 pi over 12, at least to an exact value. We can figure out the approximations. We'll just plug it in our calculator, right? And that will give us our approximations. But to find the exact value, um, I have to use the unit circle and see, you know, see if I can use those values. Well, for 13 pi over 12, I can't use any coordinates on the unit circle that are going to give me some exact values. So, but what I can do is I can break up 13 pi over 12 into the addition or subtraction of two points that are on the unit circle. So I look at my angles that I could use to make up my angle that I'm trying to find the value for. So when I do that, I determined that I could rewrite cosine of 13 pi over 12 as cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Now what I need to do is use the sum formula for cosine to be able to uh, find our value. So the sum value comes in cosine of addition of two angles, u and v, equals the cosine of u uh, times cosine of v minus sorry, sine of u times sine of v. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let 3 pi over 4 be my u and pi over 3 be my v. Now all I'm simply going to do is plug in those values. So 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 3 equals the cosine of 3 pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 3 minus the sine of 3 pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 3. Woo! That's a lot to say. Next, what I need to do is now I need to find the values of each one of those points. So what I do is I take a look at my unit circle and I say, all right, where are those points and what are their values? So first of all, 3 pi over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's horrible. 3 pi over 4 is right here. So this point is going to be, uh, oh jeez, 3 pi over 4, yeah, okay. So that's negative radical 2 over 2, comma, radical 2 over 2, right? That's 3 pi over 4. And then pi over 3 is going to be a 1 half radical 3 over 2. And remember, those are your x and y coordinates. So now what I'm going to do to solve for my cosine of 3 pi over 4 is my x coordinate, which is da -da -da, negative radical 2 over 2. Cosine of my uh, pi over 3 is going to be an x coordinate, which is 1 half. Multiply those minus the sine of 3 pi over 2, which is radical 2 over 2 and the sine of this y, which is radical 3 over 2. Now, I can simply uh, multiply, uh, multiply across, so I get a negative 2 over, uh, negative radical 2 over 4 minus a radical 6 over 4. And one thing you notice, you can even see it up here, is I could factor out a square root of 2 and also take out a 4 out of each of these. So I could really get um, a radical 2 over 4. I can factor that out. And what I'm left with is a negative 1, negative 1 minus radical 3. And that's how you find the cosine of the addition of, uh, for those two angles, to give you 13 pi over 12. Ooh, I did that one quicker.